Survey says. Wow, we're on. Huh? I'm still waiting for that. Sitting, sitting up. And yes, you are live. Hello, everybody. Hey. How's it going? Welcome to another episode of the Live Clean and Fight Dirty Show. Wow, we're I'm on having that. a little sound I'm issue here. Let me that. fix that real quick. Sitting up. And there, there we go. Fix the sound issue. Now. This episode is titled Karma in Life, Jake Paul versus Chuck Liddell. Karma in the ring and in life is a bitch. What's going on with Chuck Liddell? Not Jake, Chuck Liddell. What's going on with Jake Paul calling out all these fighters? What is going on? We're here with your UFC sensei, John Hackleman. You can ask him any question you want about martial arts. He'll answer right now. And if you have any questions about rumors about Jake Paul fighting Chuck Liddell. You can ask him right now, too. So, what are your thoughts on this? I know we've talked about celebrity boxing before. Right now, everyone's talking about Mike Tyson. You kind of talked it a little bit. Felt like we've talked about this a lot. And we said, ah, maybe this is just a bunch of rumors. But I was saying to you off camera, too many people are taking this seriously. There's way too many people being like, I want to see Mike Tyson knock out Jake Paul. And the more people that say that, whether this is a rumor or not, can make it a real fight. What are your thoughts? I think it's stupid. I think it's I think it's stupid. Um, it shows. I think it's okay. It's not stupid. I, I I take that back. I think it's good. I think it's good. If two people want to fight, it's mutually agreed upon. And they're both of sound mind and sound body. Um, and they're both going to go into the transaction knowing what they're going to make. And they're going to make, you know, make the money that they want to make. So for the fans, I think it's, it, if you're, I mean, there's, there's guys out there. The same guy that wants to watch this fight is the guy that wants to watch a 82 year old stripper. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, is, is this not, is there's for the normal fan, um, normal, normal in his head, like me, we don't want to see, you know, seniors fighting anymore. We just don't, I don't want to see I don't want to see a fucking 80 year old stripper and I don't want to see a 60 year old fighter. Um, but with that said, if the if the eighty year old stripper can make a good living doing it, and there is a, a a certain niche of perverts that want to watch that shit, okay, the same thing holds true for the old fighters. There's a certain niche group that will pay to watch that weird shit. It's because they have they didn't get enough love from their parents, or or there's some they they hate their grandparents or something. I don't know. But it's weird shit, and, and it, it makes no sense to me to watch. But for the fighters, like Jake Paul, he's making a lot of money. I think, I mean, look what it was. It was he the one that fought Tyrone Woodley? Uh, Jake Paul. Which one? I mean, he I, there's he two fought, brothers. He fought, he fought, Jake Paul fought, who did he fight? Who did he fight? Who did he fight? He fought, he fought. Didn't he fight? He fought. Damn it, I can't remember. It wasn't Mike Tyson. It was, another, it was another famous guy, Jake Paul. Who did Jake Paul fight? Jake Paul. I don't, know. I don't follow it. They're just he, he, he fought a lot. He's fought a lot of like old old school guys, right? Ryan Borland. Um, who else? Let's see. Who has Jake Paul fight? Who did Jake Paul lose to? Uh, he lost to Dylan Canis. And who has he fought though? He's he's always calling people out. But who? What about his brother? Who's his brother? Oh, There's another Paul, right? Paul's, yeah, there is brother. Jake Paul's brother is Logan Paul. So they fought a lot of guys. They're pretty damn tough, I think, and they've got a good following because it was their... Mayweather. He fought Mayweather. That's what he fought. And I forgot for Jake. They... Paul. I think Jake Paul fought Mayweather, right? It was. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't follow the shit. I mean, it, to me, it's just. Oh, Logan! Me, no, no, it was me. Logan Paul. It was Logan Paul. So it's, it's Logan, fought Logan Paul. Yeah. So it's, sorry, the other brother. He fought the other brother. So Mayweather fought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
There it is. It was it was it was it was Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Logan Paul, not Jake Paul. So who did Jake Paul fight? Jake Paul. Let me see here. Jake. Because they're pretty tough. I mean, they're tough brothers. I mean, they're little rich kids that grew up probably, you know, with entitled shit, but for whatever reason, they came up pretty tough. And when they go in there, it looks like they're they're banging. And and but why they pick old retired guys is kind yeah, of I, obvious. And, I don't know if this is true. I don't and it says Paul's fights, and it's not really telling me. And I don't know if this is true. Like I'm seeing names like Anderson Silva. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm seeing names like Tyrone Woodley. Yeah, uh, okay. So, and they're saying uh, one by decision, one by KO, one by TKO. So they're they're like it sounds like they're beating up old guys. All yeah. Right. So they're two. They seem like they're two little rich kids that got on the YouTube. They're YouTubers, and you know, they grew up. It seems like they grew up pretty soft, but they're pretty they're pretty tough. It seems like they get in there. But they 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 choose to fight people that are old and people from a different sport. So they're not fighting they're not fighting like uh, young hungry boxers in a boxing match. They're fighting old retired uh, MMA fighters for the most part, right? Now they're fighting a sixty year old, a sixty year old. Okay, so they like to fight old guys, and it it, it brings them money. Hey, if, if people are willing to pay, like I said, the people that buy this shit are the same people that are going to buy a fucking 80-year-old stripper. I mean, that's the kind of kind of sick, perverted person that wants to watch an old 60-year-old boxer. It just, it makes no sense. But if they want to, and, and Jake Paul makes the money he wants to make, and he's promised, and if Tyson makes the money he makes, wants to make, and he's promised it, it's a mutual agreement. How can it? I mean, you can't complain about it. You just don't watch it. If you, I mean, if you think it's terrible, don't watch it. I don't think it's terrible at all. I think it's great. You know, just like I think fucking Trixie, the fucking eighty-year-old stripper, is great too. If she can still suck her people into paying to watch her strip, that's the same kind of people that are suckered into buying this. It's just, it's just a, it's a freak show. <laughs> a different kind of freak show, maybe, but it's still a freak show, nevertheless. So here's some comments. Zen says hello. Hi, Zed. Jimmy Fox Hi, Zed. Johnson, hello. Hi. Hi. Zen says he's going to call out Chuck Norris next. <laughs> if he does, that'd be great. Um, Jesse oh says, pass- he's like 84. <laughs> I would not be surprised. And the, the same people that would pay to watch a 60 year old Mike Tyson fight against. Logan Paul, who he's a tough guy. He's just he's he's picking the easiest people he can pick. Go box, bro. Go box a real guy. I mean, a young guy that's in his prime, and then you'll be good. You'll be good then. Then people look at you as you're good. But when you're fighting <laughs> six year olds and MMA fighters with no boxing experience, they're MMA fighters. It'd be like beating a fucking you know, tennis player at rugby. I mean, the the two, they're they're different sports. You want to box these guys? Like I said, it's like it's a completely different sport. So, but there's people that'll pay to watch it. You know, it's a freak show, and people like freak shows. And and it's just it's as simple as that. There's no, I mean, there's no other way to explain it. I think it's good if people are making money off of the suckers that are buying it. You know, and and there's there's, I hope Chuck Liddell never does it. I don't I don't think he has to. You know, I think his finances are fine. I don't think he has to. But if he wants to make a couple mil and they offer him that, and it's the freak show thing, and he wants to do it, I would say you know go ahead. I don't think I don't think there's much harm in it. You know, but I think it's I think it's weak of the the brothers to you know call out you know 60 year old mma fighters to fight in a boxing match <laughs> it's, but that's always, it's but, kind of hilarious but, but that's, people that's buy it. Thing, though. That, that, look their youtube channel that's always been their thing that's the whole thing yeah. like, it's bigger now and when it started it was just it was like even older like their first one was like an even older boxer they would go into boxing gyms and challenge these old guys at their gyms and ask if they can record it on youtube that's how they kind of started their whole youtube channel and now yeah. it's gone to 
the, it start, they started off with n- not so famous now boxers, and now they're on to like bigger boxers. So that's kind of how they built their whole platform. Um, more comments. Jimmy says, Hey, what's wrong with an 82 year old super? <laughs> Jimmy, who <laughs> said that? Jimmy Vox Johnson. <laughs> Jimmy, you're a thick fuck. You know that? <laughs> you are sick. I'm 56 years old. You? And I'm old. That's my grandma's age, age, okay? That's my grandma's <laughs> age. <laughs> Wait, no, that would be my mom. My mom was older than that. Sorry about that. No. Oh, my God. I am so old. I thought that was my grandma's age. My oh. mom was 90 when she died. Oh, man. Anyway, that's oh, sick. Jimmy, like. Jimmy, Jimmy, you are sick. John, I love you. I love you. I get you. I get you. You're one of those. You're one of those pervs. You're right. You're right. John anyway. says, I heard they're going to call out Floyd Mayweather this soon. You're all damn um yeah and so far the paul versus tyson fight will be will be on netflix live so many clowns are gonna watch that shit um i wonder if it depends it depends if they were a thong i might watch it is what jimmy cox says yeah well we already determined that jimmy cox is you know he's got some kinks uh mr awok three Pitmaster. what happened to Pitmaster in the doc show oh we're gonna get back to that mr awok um but one thing we want to come out real quick is I want to take a look at these rumors about Chuck Liddell fighting because we did we titled this Chuck Liddell versus Jake Paul right why if I if I could if I could make a call on this phone I'd I call I'd call right now but I yeah. can't I can't make a call and talk on this yeah because then we'll, we'll lose the thing so um I'll ask him like how would I I wonder if I can call him on my computer. You can, I can give you the link. You can text him the link. He can jump on you Zoom if he wants to do that. Or if he wants, nah, wants to text you, if he yeah, wants to yeah. text you, you can text him. And I don't think that'll, well, if you start tapping him, he'll lose your camera, but that's about it. You can, yeah. you, can text him. you can text him right now to substantiate. But right now, we want to make this clear. These are rumors. And he's going to try to text him right now to see if we can get a response from him. But, um, but what do you think? But as of right now, like, there's just the, the reason I'm saying this because this is how all this shit always happens. It starts with articles, right? And um, in the past, so like in the past, Chuck Liddell uh, was called out by Jay Paul. Um, this was uh, this is a while back, and you know he, you know Chuck Liddell. This is the MMA News dot com, however reviable this is, was trying to shoot a shot at securing a fight with YouTuber turned. Boxer Chuck Liddell is trying, is what they said. Try to shoot, a, turn to secure a fight with him. Um, now these are rumors, though. I still want to make that very clear. They are rumors, but I've seen this article come out in different MMA websites and different MMA uh news articles and stuff. So, and then even Chuck Liddell recently, when uh, when the when it talked about Mike Tyson fighting him, was quoted saying that he hopes that Tyson knocks out knocks them out now the thing is a lot of people online like i was saying before are saying they hope tyson knocks them out my yeah. controversial opinion is i don't know man I, i'm not saying that mike tyson can't knock him out i'm sure there's always a possibility but just looking at age and jake yeah. is not a small guy they're the, they're the same weight class they're not a different weight class i and he has already knocked out quite a few old guys. I, as much as I love Tyson, I'm sure Tyson in his prime would knock out Jake Paul. That's hands down. I'm not going to disagree with that. I'm just not sure if an old man Tyson can knock out Jake Paul. I don't know if that sounds, what do you think, Matt? Is that a controversial statement? What do you think? Um, do I think I, I, He's 60 years old. I mean, and how old is t- Jake Paul? He's young, man. This year. Jake Paul. How old is he? He's young. How old is Jake Paul? Jake Paul's 27 years old. Yeah, it, I mean. I, 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 it's It's. He's and I'm not gonna I'm like and at the same time he's got money so like it's not like Jake Paul sitting in his garage punching a punching bag, you know, calling himself the best like Ali while looking himself in the mirror. He's got pro 
trainers training him. It's not like and I'm not, I'm not a fan of Jake Paul here. I'm just saying, like, he's not he's not your average dude. He does have money to get professional training. And that's kind of the problem is he's 27 years old. He's young enough to be in his prime. Whether or not he's a professional fighter at that caliber, I don't know. But he has the time and the money to train to get good. And he's got professional trainers training him. He's not just some average guy. Hitting, he's not like a small YouTuber who's hitting a bag, calling out people on the internet. He actually does have the resources, and that's why I look at this as I don't know, I don't know. I, I, it would be more controversial opinions. It would be a tough fight for Tyson. It's the, the the odds are against Tyson just based on age, just based on age. Now I'm not saying that he can't. It's just not the same Tyson. But what makes it weird online is a lot of people are like, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see Tyson knock out Jake Paul. And then they post pictures. They post pictures about um, they post pictures about Tyson and they show Tyson as a young guy. Yeah. Like they show pictures of Tyson as a young guy fighting Jake Paul. We're forgetting that that's not Tyson anymore. No offense. It's just not him anymore. No, it's not. It's it's the uh, it's like the stripper. The <laughs> stripper. It makes absolutely positively no sense. It is I mean for him to do it, it makes it's it's I'm not gonna say it's scary, but it, it makes absolutely no sense. And then it, it's it's, and it's, the- it's okay. for for people that just like like to go to the freak show it's it makes no sense so and uh some more comments john cox uh says heart of gold um bible battles says power is the last to go uh jimmy fox johnson i love chuck but i pray he doesn't fight again yeah yeah and uh zen says speaking of uh ali jake paul is planning to Call out Ali from his grave. <laughs> that's a, that's a wow. Wow. Uh, Gotta go there. <laughs> had to go there. <laughs> had to go there. <laughs> but yeah, the power is the last to go. But but without without timing, speed, and agility, the power is kind of a moot point, right? So, like, if there's nobody operating the hammer very well, then then it's just a hammer laying on the ground, right? So he has he might have the power, but he doesn't have the speed or the timing or the agility. You know, he's, he's 60, 60. So if he catches him right in the chin, yeah, he'll knock him out. But don't play the power thing. Oh, he's got the power, so it's... It's the same old Tyson. Tyson was never just about power. Tyson was all about his speed, his agility, you know, his his his, um, his timing, you know, all those things that go away with the age. But he kept the power, so he's just gonna be thud, thud, thud. And and Jake Paul's not gonna stand there saying, "Okay, hit me now." He's gonna be moving. There's gonna be a lot of movement involved. And uh, no, so. Some more comments. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to keep up with this. Jake is sloppy against older MMA fighters, but he has good power, especially for someone who hasn't been doing this his whole life. And at this point, has he not been doing this his whole life? That's the real question. He's no longer, when he first started doing this, I don't know how many years ago, like over seven years ago, he was still a kid. He was a teenager, yeah. right? He was this a teenager. Was a while, doing this. So now we're actually no longer talking about not doing this his whole life. It's kind of turning into his whole life. I mean, yeah. it's easy to discredit Jake Paul as a as some wannabe YouTuber. But at this point, yes, he's a YouTuber, but he's been doing this long enough to I, I don't I don't want to say he's a professional fighter because just I hate to say it, but he does definitely has enough training to not be an amateur fighter. That's for sure. He definitely has enough training behind him to not be classified as an amateur fighter at this point, even if he does kind of look sloppy and he's not that great. He's not like top tier, top 10 pro, but with the training he has, he might be lower tier pro. Like if he was to, if he was to try to actually try to fight, which he's not trying to yeah. do. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how to label that. An amateur, some of the best boxers on the planet are amateurs, right? The Olympic amateurs. Um, so when you use the word amateur boxer, you mean unskilled because an amateur boxer, like I said, you know, some of the best boxers on the planet right now are amateurs winning the gold medal in the Olympics. Um, so I don't know. So he'd be like a, you know, I don't, I don't know what he'd be like because he's never really fought one. So let him fight a mediocre, a middle of the road, um, you know, like a, like a, a, a mid range boxer, like, you know, just somebody that hasn't quite made it yet, but say he's had, however many 10, 15 fights, then he has a decent record. Maybe he's fought guys that are winning records and he has the winning record. That's the way you tell if he has the winning record against opponents that have a winning record, then, then let him fight him. But when he's fighting, you know, old MMA guys, it, it makes in a boxing match, it just makes no sense. So I wouldn't want to see him fight, um, Tyson, yeah, if Tyson happens to land a, a power shot on him and catch him right in the chin, yeah, he, he would stop him. But finding his chin seems like it'll be a difficulty with someone at 60 years old. But I would I would want him to win, you know, and, and I would I would not think Chuck would do that. I, I see no reason for that. And I've never heard about that. So I don't think he will. So and then Jesse says Tyson is desperate for money. This will get more pop. This will get more popular. Don't forget Rampage is supposed to fight Shannon Briggs. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. And uh, Mr. Awak says Tyson looks pretty damn fast training right now. You'd never say he looks 60 watching him. He is posting a lot of videos of his training. Right? I don't know if he's posting a lot of videos of his training or just a lot of videos of his training. He's always posting videos of his training, but right now they're surfacing because of all these rumors. So if anything, yeah. even if, I mean, they're saying that the fight's going to happen. Even if the fight didn't happen, I mean, I'm sure the social media boost in itself already helped him quite a bit for the money, which is cool. Yeah. That's, and, that's and, the good news of all. And watching, watching, watching 10 second clips of someone hitting pads um, doesn't really say much. It doesn't really say much. If he watched somebody sparring against someone that was going hard on him, that was close, you know, like, a somewhat okay fighter boxer then you might be able to tell a little bit more but even that's not a real fight but watching someone hit pads for 10 second slots and then they cut it it does it's, you're not going to tell much about that fighter and then true vincer asks is tommy fury considered a high level pro that fight could have legitimized jake as a real pro yeah <laughs> and he lost right uh, let me see here. Tell me. And what's, what's Fury's record? I don't. Yeah. And what's you know what you gotta look at when you want to find some somebody and find out how good they are. You gotta find out their record, and then find out the record of everybody they fight fought, and then and then uh, and then you 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 add it up their win and loss, and then you add it up and you 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 get the average right. So, like, if you have a, a guy that's had 20 fights and he's, say, 15 and 5, okay, that sounds really good. But then if the 15 guys he fought, you do a, you you average their win and loss. If they've, they're, like, their record is, like, uh, their average record is, like, three wins and 10 losses, that doesn't really say much for the guy's wins. But if well, they're winning against winning fighters – then it tells a lot more about them and their skill. So Tommy, you, that? you Tommy, don't have to go to, you don't have to be a mathematician to do that, guys. You just, you just gotta, you just gotta add up their wins, right? And then put it under a little number at the bottom. Add up their losses, a little number. Decide, you know, then you divide their losses and their wins. See what their percentage is. Like if they're a, you know, a, a, a like. A lot of fighters, they're a point seven five win, you know. So they won seventy five percent of the times. You're a winning fighter. If you won sixty percent of the time, you're a winning fighter. But if you've lost more than you've won, then you're not really that great a fighter. Um, so, so you I'm know, check. 
I've checked a few different sites right now, and it's saying, if, if everything's accurate here, that Tommy Fury has a total of 10 fights and 10 wins. Um, he, he, did, he, did, he did beat Jake Paul in that fight by a split decision. And then what are, like, if you look at it, yeah, I don't do it right now, but then you look at the 10 guys he beat, and then look at their record, right? Their average records. So are they all zero and ten? Are they all five and five? Are they, but are they maybe they're ten and zero, and he beat them? Then that makes them a little more credible. You got de- if you're really looking into it, you got to dive one more step and see what they're the guys that they beat and the guys that they lost. You know, you, you so it's it, as a ma- as a trainer and a manager, I look. I look at all that shit and I, I add it up on who fought and how that you know how they won and and what they're you know they beat ten guys they beat eight guys okay what are those rec- what are those records then they lost to these guys what if they have five losses but they were all to world champion fighters then do you still count those losses because I mean so there's a lot more to it than just their record. Yeah, and it's a, and a, like one of the guys he beat was Anthony Taylor, who's seven five and zero. Um, but the, again, I don't even know if that guy he's wearing MMA gloves, so I don't even know if that guy was, if that guy's even a boxer. Either way, but yeah, it, it gets it gets really it gets really shady. We, 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 well, like I said, we wouldn't have time to deep dive deep, deep like do that too much of a deep dive into their records right now. A lot of comments came in. Uh, True Vinster says, oh no, Bible Battle says Tyson is not 60. He is 57. All right. Mr. O- Miles will be 60, though. It's all right on the corner. Mr. Alex o- says Fury might be undefeated, but he's always fighting someone on his brother's card to pad his record. He doesn't fight anyone real either. All right. And uh, nice chat, GGG. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right on. Thanks, Bible Battles. Mr. Awak, even a mid tier boxer moves away, f- moves way different than Jake Paul. Jake, and I think he's legitimately a tough guy, but he doesn't have it, in my opinion, to be a real boxer. There's something missing. Uh, yeah, I mean that can that, that's what we're saying is, uh, yeah, he, he moves kind of blocky, uh, but you know, um, that's beside the point. We're what we're really trying to look at here is the idea that the public takes these fights seriously. That's, that's really what I'm looking at. Is we can all say these aren't serious fights. And talking to, uh, you know, to John, he's saying the same thing. Don't take these fights seriously. This is just for entertainment. But the general public is not taking this as entertainment, and they're taking it as real fights. And I think that's really why we're talking about this again, because we've talked about this before. Well, yeah, I mean, I still think if someone's getting punched in the face uh, and not not planning who's going to win or lose and not pulling their punches, I st- and they're getting punched in the face. I think it's a real fight. I don't think it's not a real fight. Um, but I think it's. But when you're fighting someone who's 60 years old, while that is a real fight, you know, you know, we already talked about Trixie, 80 years old. It's a real strip show, but it's a it's a it's a farce. It's still a joke. You know what I mean? In the caliber, yeah. comparing it to the caliber of professional fighting, like yeah, where professional yeah. fighter, where actual professional fights are happening right now, to bring this kind of a fight in is a freak show. That's that's pretty much it's a freak saying. show. Get yeah. get a real fight. Get it. You know, it's not that hard, Jake Paul. You know what you do? You you you, you get in the, with the commission. You you get a pro license, and you get a manager, and you get a real fight. It's not that really that hard, but obviously. He wants money before com- real competition. He'd rather have real money instead of real competition. Who's bl- who's going to blame him? Yeah, you know, probably that's, no one. That's, you know, the game. But, that's the game. But still, for you guys that are watching, realize what you're you're paying for. Realize what you're, you know, what you're you know arguing about or or texting about or you know debating about. You're you're debating something that's not a real fight. You know, it's not a real box. It's, it's a real fight. It's not a real boxing match. Drew Vinster says yeah. the real fight, the real fight is Jake Paul versus John Hackleman, KO by left hook. <laughs> Another six. And I'm, I'm, I'm 65. So <laughs> no, there'll be no, 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 uh, there'll be no 
sport boxing matches for me. But and like I said, if you guys want to watch, like I said, you're the if for you guys that want to watch and you you're gonna pay for that and watch that, you're the kind of guy that's uh, gonna watch 80 year old stripper Trixie trip. <laughs> So what 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 Hackle was trying to say guy. he's not creating an OnlyFans for you sickos to watch. <laughs> he's, he's, he's making that very clear right now for all of you. <laughs> he's not gonna do it. No matter how why, why is the dog barking? Yeah. <laughs> well, anything else you want to add before we go? No, let's let's let me let me give my one little karma one because I was talking about karma to my wife. And and here's what we came up with. I actually think she did. Usually my quotes, I have a lot of quotes. If you want to see my quotes, go to like uh, Instagram or Facebook and do hashtag pitmaster quotes. Okay. Here's my latest one. Be the karma. Be the karma. In other words, sometimes people get in your face and maybe they slap you or they hate you or, or call you names or beat you up, whatever, any degree of, of, of abuse that people give you and you take it. A lot of people take it because they're weak, but then they go, ah, oh, karma will get him back. Karma will get them. So I don't know what, I don't know really what that means. Like they're expecting in the next life, you know they're gonna they're gonna have a terrible life because because they cussed you out or because they hit you. I think it'd be better, and you'll feel better inside if you are the karma. Like if somebody does something to you, boom, respond. You don't. I'm not, I'm not saying you know always. You always have to argue or anything. That that's not what I'm meaning, but but it is. In certain cases, sometimes take don't don't you don't have to take the fucking high road. Sometimes if somebody calls you a name or says something you don't like, you don't have to just walk away and do over it and just think I should have said something. Oh well, karma will get them, and then you're it's eating you up inside. You know, not even just a physical confrontation, but even saying something rude to you in front of someone or or you know maybe calling you out on something you agree with, but they're taking the other side, but you don't want to argue because you want to take the high road. Karma will get them. Be the fucking karma. Get You get them. Like if they say something you don't agree with, tell them you don't agree with that and tell them why. You, know, you don't always think you have to take the high road. We're not Maharishi. You're not, we're not, we're not Nelson Mandela. You know, sometimes you want to get back and, and, feel better about it. Then when you walk away, you know, you, you, you don't, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to get petty. You don't have to, you know, never, never get in a fight over words ever, you know, but say somebody smacked you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's, you could say let karma get them or you could be the karma. You know what I mean? Don't ever break any laws and don't, you know, there's certain things you should stay away off right away from, Especially if it's your boss or, you know, I don't know, your mom or your somebody a superior position to you. Um, I'm not saying that, but there's a lot of times where there's somebody that says something to you and you just, you just, for whatever reason, you, you, you don't get it out. And then when you walk away, you always wish you did, but then you justify it by saying karma will get them. No, you should have got them. You should be the karma. You don't always have to take the high road. You really don't. Because sometimes the high road just means you're going to be going home regretting you said it. It's going to eat you up inside. Sometimes you just got to get it out. Okay? And I don't mean physically. You know, I, you know, I mean mainly, uh, I'm, you know, verbally or, or, or something like that. Unless somebody does whack you. Somebody whacks you, you know, then... You used to be the karma, like right now. Somebody wants to attack you, be that karma. Be their fucking karma. Why is the, my dog barking? Do you hear it? 
I hear a little bit, but it's, it's not distracting up until you brought it up. <laughs> I didn't no, hear it. It's not, but there's a class. It must be downstairs to the class. <laughs> but anyway, so that, that's what I mean. You don't be the karma. You don't have to be an asshole. And, you know, once in a while you can take the high road if, if you want to. But don't do it because you're weak. Don't do it because you're scared. Right? Don't do it because you're too timid. Do it if, if you feel like you're in a morally superior, you know, position. But don't do it because you're scared and timid. Be that fucking karma and get them back. They say... They make a fucking comment to you. Make one back. They give you a point of their politics, you know, some stupid, you know, like, uh, I don't know, whatever it is, you know, the, whatever the politics is, and you don't agree with it, give them your opinion. Give them your opinion so you feel better about it. And, and especially if somebody's going to whack you, fucking A, don't let anyone hit you. Like, I can't even watch Chris Rock anymore. Because he let that guy slap him, and he just he let the guy walk away. He let him slap him, and then he, without doing a thing, he let the guy guy walk away. That wasn't saving the show, and it wasn't taking the moral high ground. Nobody looks at Chris Rock the same anymore, and I love Chris Rock, but now I look at him as kind of a punk. That's that's all I got. All right, so our wrap up. Be the karma. Uh, last few comments before we go. Somebody uh, had a question. Somebody had, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Way, 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 way. In the beginning of all this, someone asked about what happened to the pitmaster oh. at the doc show. Oh, my doc, who um, happens to be my best friend, too. Um, he got so busy. He's a, he's a really busy orthopedic surgeon. That's why I call him the doc. Um, so he's super busy with that. And he's training, got his black belt. He got his black belt here at the pit. But he also has four kids that all play sports. They water polo and they swim, all of them. And three of them right now play water polo at colleges. And one of them is at high school. So he's so busy um, he just, he, you know, he just kept, you know, having to postpone it all the time because he was way too busy. And another thing is, um, you know, he's, he's got his practice and stuff like that. So, you know, he still comes and trains. He'll, he'll actually be here in about 10 minutes, but, um, yeah, he just got too, way too busy, uh, you know, with his four kids and, and his, his family life. That's what happened to that. All right. So there's your answer. That was for, for Mr. Awa. Well, thank you, everyone, for your questions. Remember, every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, the Live Clean and Fight Dirty show covering martial arts topics and sometimes uh, some social media beef like we saw today. Catch you all next time.